Good morning, Clear Branch kids. This month, as you may remember, we're finding all about what it means to live with responsibility. And that's a big word, but responsibility means that you can be trusted with what's expected of you. Okay, so our story for, day, for today is set in the book of Luke, which is one of the four gospels that tells us all about the story of Jesus. Now we already know that when Jesus was teaching and he would travel all over the place, everywhere he went, crowds would gather. And when he would be talking to people and trying to teach them, a lot of times he would use a short story called a parable to not only teach a lesson, but hopefully help the people remember what it was that he was trying to teach them. So this particular day, the book of Luke tells us that there was a man in the crowd who called out and asked Jesus for help. Now, apparently, this man had been having an argument with his brother over some things that their family owned. And so when he called out for Je to Jesus for help, what he actually said was, Jesus, will you please tell my brother to give me my share of the family wealth? Now, first of all, Jesus said, and you guys have probably heard me use this in the backyard, I am not a referee. He told them that then, he said, I'm not here to judge, I'm not here to be a referee or an umpire. And he said, second of all, he warned the man to not be so focused on earthly things. And so right after he said these things, Jesus told one of his parables. Now, in this story, Jesus told about a very rich farmer who had had an amazing crop of grain. In fact, the crop was so huge, so unexpectedly large that there wasn't even room for the man to store it all once he was harvested. And so the man had to think out of the box. And what he decided was that he would tear down all of his storehouses and he would build new ones that were even bigger. And he would get everything harvested and brought in and stored. And then he would kick back and relax and take a little time off and just enjoy life because he had all of this grain built up. But that night, God spoke to this man because he was not pleased with how this man was so focused on just the things that he owned. And he told him, is that where your value lies? Because if this is what your plan is, you'll be struck dead before the end of the night. And who's gonna get all your grain then? See, the point was that God didn't like the fact that the man was being selfish, that he was so focused on these things and keeping them for himself that he would rather this man perish then not learn this lesson. So now after Jesus told this story, he turned back to the man. Now remember, this man said, please tell my brother to give me my share of the family wealth. And so after telling this story, Jesus looked at him and he's, he said, this is what I'm trying to tell you. You don't need to be focused on the things of life. Now, we all like stuff, I do too. But it's really easy if we're not careful to be so focused on the stuff that we have or wanting certain stuff that we don't pay attention and we don't focus on living the way that God has taught us to. Remember last week, our first lesson about responsibility, we learned that the most responsible thing that we can do is to love God with everything we have and love everyone else as well, love those around us. But can we do that if we're so focused on getting more and more things for ourselves? We can't, and that's what Jesus was trying to teach that day. So guys, this week, that's our bottom line. As you go about your week, remember that you can use the things that you have in your life more responsibly than when you have things that you share them with others.